Welcome. Thank you all for taking the time today to be here, and uh, thank you to everybody who's watching online. It's, uh, it's, it's a special moment. Um, you know, I think that uh, franchises go through special moments, and um, this, this is one for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, it's, it's crucial, no matter what, that you can find your quarterback for the future, for the present and the future, and to have that person be as sterling a character and as passionate about his craft and as dedicated uh, as this young 24-year-old is, is remarkable. And it takes a lot to, to get to that. I don't ever underestimate the personal qualities or the talent qualities of somebody who has what Jalen has. It's, it's rare and it's not easy. I, I, at the league meetings uh, just a few weeks ago when we got together, I told you I was uh, sure we were gonna be working with Jalen for a long, long time. And I wanna thank Howie and his staff, Nicole and her staff. Uh, these kind of things get done because of so many people in the building it's, it's not just Howie, it's not just Nicole, but it's a whole range of people. And the success of us in any franchise, any business, is the people in the building. And you know, I never lose sight of that. And this is a great example. It's a team that comes together here. Um, so uh, it, it's also, as I've, you've heard me say this over and over, uh, as the owner of the team, that you look at the head coach, the general manager and the quarterback as your cornerstones. And um, if you can find the right combination for all three, your present and your future is just incredibly exciting. And I, I think we certainly have all that uh, now and going forward in the future. Uh, you know, today is a, I can only imagine what an exciting day for Jalen and his family, it's unbelievable. Uh, but it's also an incredibly exciting day for the Philadelphia Eagles and our culture and our fans uh, and with what we have to look forward to. Um, it's, um, it's, it's remarkable that somebody can combine the talent that Jalen has, the personal qualities, and the ability at such a young age to be a culture setter. And we've been fortunate with the Eagles to have our best players and our leaders be culture setters. We have several on the team right now. Um, it's, it's why we've been to two Super Bowls recently. It's, it's when you have the, your best players be the culture setters, it's, it's a great formula for success. And there's no question in my mind or anyone's mind in this building that uh, Jalen is a culture setter. And when you have your quarterback be a culture setter, um, at that age, it's, it's, it's remarkable. Um, so uh, I, I think that we've always looked, you know, we have the draft coming up this week. You always look at talent. You look at what's in the body. You look at what's able to be the ceiling, the floor, and all that. Um, but sometimes people don't concentrate on when you have the talent, What's the odds of that person really maximizing every ounce of their talent um, today and in the future? And uh, that, that was, you know, really a, an evaluation of Jalen that superseded a lot of prob probably general consensus at the time. And we were awfully lucky to be able to, you know, work with Jalen for the last three years. It was three years today when we selected him in the second round. Um, and so, I just want to, you know, say that um, uh, owning the team for all these years, it's it's very special to have a young player have the qualities of Jalen. Today's his day, but I could tell you this any day. If you've talked to me about this, I could have told you the last few years. Um, to be able to have the dynamic playmaking ability and the maturity and the passion for his craft um, at age 24, pretty remarkable. And that's, that's why we're sitting here today. So um, I, I just want to be able to say that uh, I personally, as he knows, we FaceTimed the other day, very proud of this young man. And uh, he's going to lead the way for many, many years to come in Philadelphia and for the Eagles. 
and, and I couldn't be happier, none of us could be any happier. Um, so with that being said, um, I, I think how he said it the other day, this is the beginning. This is not uh, towards the end. This is the beginning of a career arc for a remarkable person and a remarkable player. And uh, the future, we don't even know. The ceiling, there is no ceiling. Uh, it's all there. Um, if we continue to surround Jalen, the culture is set. He sets the culture as well. Um, great coaching, superb general manager. Uh, the, it's all there for the taking. And so um, with a little bit of luck, we'll, we'll have a lot of these uh, uh, get-togethers and you know, talk about how exciting it all is. And uh, so with that, I'd like to welcome Jalen Hurts and congratulate him as well. Good afternoon, good morning. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank God for everything. Uh, his grace, his, his faithfulness, his favor in my life. He is deserve, deserving of every ounce of glory. I want to thank the Eagles organization um, and really thank them for this opportunity, not only to lead this team, but to lead this city and Philadelphia is a very special place and a place that I want to be for a very long time. I want to thank Mr. Lurie, Howie, and Julian. Uh, three, years, three years ago today, shocking the world and taking the kid from Oklahoma. I know a lot of people didn't understand at the time, but it happens. Um, my coaches, Brian, Alex, Tanny, uh, Coach Nick Sirianni, Coach Shane Steichen, my teammates uh, for the support, um, the commitment and what we do every day, the grind we put in every day, um, the belief not only in my, myself, not only in me, but um, in themselves. We dedicate so much to this and you know, we all invest so much into just trying to be the best that we can be at this craft, in this craft. Um, so I want to thank everybody for that and thank everybody for buying into the culture that we've set here um, and the enthusiasm we have here right now. Um, I want to thank my family, my mother for always supporting me always loving me, always telling me her opinion, <laughs> and um, always having my back. My brother for, you know, having an older brother, you, uh, you have a great example in front of you. And I think for me in my situation, um, he's a guy that I've, I've always looked up to, and I know he enjoys these moments through me, um, as we've always dreamed of being the best that we can be at whatever it is that we've, we've aspired to do. And without him, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. I'm just having that example, having that support. Um, I thank him dearly. My little sister uh, was about to graduate high school in a couple of weeks, going to prom in a couple of weeks too. Um, I thank her for just being her. Uh, I thank her for sacrificing her birthdays to make the trips to, to Alabama and Oklahoma and support me. Um, I thank her for, for showing the love that she's shown um, and being who she is uh, to my father. I know I wouldn't be here without him. You know, the 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 path that just the whole just the whole thing, um, being the coach's kid, him being hard on me and pushing me, 
Um, being who he was, I, I'm thankful for the man that I have, and I'm thankful to call him my father um, and my coach. Um, to Bree, thank you for your support um, throughout the years. <laughs> um, I love and appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Um, You know, I think about, you know, I think about these moments and I think about these times. And he said it's an exciting moment. You know, it's an exciting moment. You know, this this moment right here. Um, but I think I've set the precedent for what it is that I desire. And I, I think for me, um, it's so hard because my mind's everywhere and I just really can't help but keep the main thing the main thing and what, um, I set out to do and what this organization has set out to do. And the only thing that I've ever uh, wanted to do is be the best version of myself. And that's, that, that hasn't changed, that won't change. And I am, I am fortunate to have a, a great opportunity, a great opportunity to do um, it in a special place. And in the future, I just strive to continue to grow, strive to continue to lead, strive to continue to be the best version of myself I can be and learn along the way. Um, I play this game, I play this game because I love the game. Um, not for any reason, not for, not for any other reason than that. I truly love the game, and I hate to lose. And this being a team sport, you get a certain type of thrill and gratification from doing that with someone else, from putting that work in with someone else, for, from everybody committing to one common goal and trying to achieve that goal in the end. I think that's what's made us so special, and I think that's what's kind of evolved um, in my three years of being here. And I think that's the precedent that we want to set for the future in terms of what we want to achieve. Um, you know, and this isn't a, uh, it, it's, not a, it's not a moment where I can reflect because the journey's not over. Um, it's really hard for me to do that. But I know I've walked through the fire time and time again. And in the end, it's always made me stronger. And... The only thing that I've wanted to do, I've just been on this constant quest of trying to be the best player I can be with no limits. Just trying to be the best version of myself, the best player and leader and man I can be. And that will never change. So I think the hard work, I, the hard work continues and the fire continues to burn. Questions? Well, it means a lot. It means a lot. It means everything. And I think, um, I think, you know, we, three years, three years ago today, you know, Mr. Lurie and Howard had the courage to draft me um, when no one really understood why. Um, no one qu no one knew why. Um, and I think just to have the opportunity to grow and to, you know, grow into a, a man, you know, I, I've uh, grown to a young, the young man that I am today. Um, I couldn't do it in another place. Um, and I couldn't imagine this being another way. You know, so it's a, it's a hell of an opportunity for us all.
the main thing, keep the main thing the main thing. I think the main thing for me has always been since I was since since I was in high school was to be the best player I can be. I love the game. I love the grind. I love the hustle that it takes. Um, and the hard work continues. The hard work continues. Everything continues. You know, I, I wouldn't be where I am today and have these opportunities to lead this city without this game. So I'm going to put everything into it. Um, as I've always done, and just stay on that quest to, to lead and be the best that I can be with it. Well, obviously, I think um, you look at all the great teams around there, and I won't get too much into detail, but you look at all the great teams and great players, um, it takes a village. It takes a village, and um, you know I know that last year, I mean in my first three years, but just just playing around the different guys that I've been able to play around, um, we got something special going on, and um, you know we 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 all want to do it for a long time, so that was important to me to 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 take that approach with it. It means the world. It means the world. Um, not only to um, to set a precedent for what could be done, but um, to acknowledge that women can do it too. Um, and she 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 pretty she pretty lit for doing that. You know what I mean? She uh, that's the word. They lit. Uh, she 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 did a great job with it. Um, I'm appreciative of her. Um, and. You know, I, I, hopefully she's setting a precedent and she's empowering people to do it um, in the future. You know, I, I don't I don't put a sex on that. I don't put a race on that. I don't put anything. If you're a grinder, let's grind. Let's work. You know, let's 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 do it. Yeah, I think. Uh, Money is nice. Championships are better. Yeah, it was. Um, that's a Nicole question. <laughs> that's a Nicole question. I think the beautiful thing about the process was, um, I think the organization knows how how I am and my character of it, and um, you know, I I did what I love most throughout the whole entire process, and that was work. Um, I was, I was, I was working, um, and that's what's most important to me. I had good faith that, um, everything would get done in time and, you know, I never worried about anything. Um, just kind of let them do their, do their job. Um, yeah, I was, uh. I was out west working out. Um, they let me know. I had my FaceTime calls with my uh, my coaches and um, Mr. Lurie, Howie. Um, and I went back to work. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, I didn't. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't really have anything crazy going on. Uh, just doing what I always do. Yeah, I'm very appreciative. You know, I'm very appreciative um, of the support and, you know, people taking notice. Um, you know, I know you don't, you don't come this far and have these opportunities uh, without work, without investing into yourself, without investing into your future and um, purely putting the work in. So I'm thankful for that, but I'm also proud that I was able to um, 
see a lot of things through. And I know, you know, this this is this is just a part of the journey. And that's that's my whole entire point. One day, God willing, um, I know there are a lot of things that I really don't speak on, but one day I'll talk about it. You know, one day, we, you know, we can set it up and when it's all said and done, uh, we can talk about a lot of things. Today ain't that day. And I think as for now, it's, it's just the approach of just embracing what's coming on on the journey and knowing that there is no arrival. There is no point where I will arrive. This is not an arrival point. This is just a stop in the journey. This is just a point in the journey. Um, and the journey continues. And for us, what we want to accomplish as a team, we just want to continue to grow. Uh, as an individual, as individuals on the team, we want to continue to grow. So we are stronger together when we fly together. Um, so, um, you know, I got, I, I have mixed emotions right now. I have mixed emotions. I'm, I'm grateful. I am thankful, but ain't no buts. But, um, you know, I'm just so hungry. And as I said, the hard work continues, and the fire continues to burn. Um, time and time again, you know, I've, like in the, like many individuals on this team. Um, you, you go through stuff and you experience stuff and that, that teaches you, that teaches you, that builds character in you, um, propels you forward. And I think for just as the many trials that I've had to go through um, has propelled me forward, I think it'll do the same for this team. far as what? Contract. Man, I want to win. You know, I don't uh, just want to win. You know, I kind of awkward sitting here talking about that anyways, talking about money and all that. Like, I'm, a, I'm an old Southern boy. I love football. Uh, this, this, is, this is my life. You know, I've invested everything into this game since day one being a coach's kid and all those things. So um, I know this is a building full of hungry individuals that are willing to do everything need to be done to win. And um, I'm grateful to lead that path. Yeah, they said I had a nice suit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, nah, I mean, every, everyone's excited, you know, everyone's excited. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative of my teammates, first and foremost. I haven't seen them in a minute, just everybody kind of being doing their own thing. Um, but this is an exciting time. It's a very exciting time for us all to be together. Um, I can't wait to get back with those guys and get to work and get to, get to meeting with the coaches and talking ball. But um, that's... That's where I get the thrill from. That's where I get the thrill from. What makes this place special? The fans, culture. The enthusiasm, the the passion and the love for for the game, and you know I never forget um, talking to Howie one day. He was telling me how you know just just wait, wait wait till we get rolling. You are gonna see how this stuff really is around here, you know. And that's something that I saw firsthand um, early in my career. I wouldn't call myself naive. I'm, I'm saying early in my career, I'm 24, going into year four, but uh, 
you know, when I first got here, you know, everybody kind of treats me like a journeyman and I've, I've experienced a lot, whatever, whatever. But playing at Alabama, playing at Oklahoma, those are two very special places. But Philly, it's a Philly thing. I mean, it's, it's different. It's different, you know. And for professional sports, to see them out there tailgating, um, the enthusiasm they have, uh, the everything, you know. I, yeah, I can't really go nowhere around here, but that's that's the sacrifice we make. <laughs> um, that's the sacrifice we make because I love this place. Um, I love this place. I love the fans. I love the culture that we have here, and I love um, I love everything about it. And as we all should be, I'm excited for what's to come.